In this video, we'll look at Euthyroid 6 syndrome, its symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Despite the name, Euthyroid 6 syndrome isn't a thyroid disorder. Euthyroid 6 syndrome is a term that describes thyroid level changes due to other acute illnesses. Euthyroid 6 syndrome is often abbreviated as ESS, it's also known as nonthyroidal illness syndrome or NTIS, sick euthyroid syndrome or SES, low T3 low T4 syndrome. There's also thyroid allostasis in critical illness, tumors, uremia, and starvation, abbreviated as tacitus. During an acute illness, your body goes into metabolic overdrive. It speeds up the process of muscle loss and burns calories more rapidly. Your body throttles back the speed of the metabolism and reduces levels of thyroid hormones, specifically T4 and T3. In this way, it's theorized that ESS is how the body adapts to conserve energy in response to acute illness. Who is at risk of ESS? The risk is highest if you're hospitalized for an acute health condition, like a burn, malignancy, major infection, surgery, heart attack, and other serious health conditions. Chronic starvation and anorexia are also known triggers. Newborns in neonatal intensive care units NICUs, also face a higher risk of developing ESS. It's estimated that around 75% of hospitalized patients have ESS. The rate is higher in patients in the intensive care unit. There are two types of ESS. The most common, and less dangerous, is ESS with a low T3 level, and low or normal T4 and TSH levels. The less common but more severe form of ESS is referred to as low T3 and low T4 syndrome. It's more common in patients in intensive care. The mortality rate of ESS increases with the severity and length of the underlying health problem. Symptoms of ESS are the same as hypothyroidism, and include fatigue and tiredness. Body and muscle weakness. Weight gain. Puffiness in the face and extremities. Intolerance to cold. Constipation. And a slowed heart rate. Here are some other common symptoms of ESS. It can be difficult to diagnose ESS. If the TSH level is elevated, and free T3 and free T4 levels are low, hypothyroidism is the likelier diagnosis. Some things practitioners look for when diagnosing ESS include normal thyroid antibodies, indicating the absence of Hashimoto's or Graves disease. They may also look for the absence of goiter or other indicators of structural thyroid disease. Whether to treat ESS is a controversial issue. Some experts claim that there is no treatment for ESS other than to treat the underlying condition to resolve abnormal thyroid levels. Other experts have argued that ESS is evidence of a hypothalamic pituitary dysfunction, and in view of current evidence, it should be treated with thyroid hormone replacement. During the COVID pandemic, researchers made a connection between ESS and COVID. They discovered that low T3 levels in COVID patients can predict a poorer prognosis, even in the early stages of the disease. And people who have COVID who develop ESS have longer hospitalizations, higher rates of intubation and other interventions, and a higher mortality rate. Unless you're hospitalized with a critical illness, or are severely restricting calories, you're not at a high risk of developing ESS. But, if you have undiagnosed and untreated hypothyroidism, you are at an increased risk of developing ESS if you become ill with an acute health condition or end up in the hospital or ICU. That means that it's important to detect and treat underlying hypothyroidism as early as possible. This video has been brought to you by Paloma Health, the nation's leading medical practice dedicated to hypothyroidism care. Learn more at www.palomahealth.com.